Today you're going to learn how to use the duotone effect on Photoshop. So we're going to turn this image into this. So we'll add some dark blue colors and also some bright red colors to create this effect. So watch until the end of the video to learn the step from start to finish. If you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. So let's get started. So if you wanted to follow along with this tutorial, I'll leave a link to this image in the description below. So the first thing we have to do with this image is turn it into a black and white and also increase the contrast. So the best way to do that is right here, just under the layers panel. So if you don't see this layers panel, just go to windows and click on layers. So click right here on this little circle and choose black and white. So you'll see this new layer panel come up right here. And you'll also uh, see this new properties panel. So if you don't see the properties panel, just go to windows again and click on properties. So if you play around with these graphs right here, you can increase the contrast. So you can make the blacks even more black and make the whites even more white. So if I increase the reds here to, uh, to the right hand side, you can see it gets a bit brighter. But you make sure you don't um, reduce the quality of the image. So if I zoom in a little bit further, you can see it gets a bit pixelated when I move it too far to the uh, right. So you have to find just the right balance right here. So that makes it a little bit more blurry. So that makes it a little bit more dark around the darker sides there. And let's also make the background a bit darker just around there. So it's basically the black, the red and the yellows make them more white and the greens and the blues make them more uh, darker. So let's increase this a little bit more. The magenta, so those don't really do much. It's usually the greens that make it a little bit more darker. So let's zoom out now. Oops, let me just zoom out a little bit. And so before it was like this, now we have a black and white image. Next, let's add a red overlay over this image. So if you don't know what kind of colors to put in, you can use this website called shapefactory.co. So I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. It's a really great website to find uh, good color palettes. And I've also got a detailed tutorial on how to use this website. I'll also leave a link to that uh, video in the description below. So if you click right here, you can choose all the different types of colors that you want to use. So let's choose a red color first. And you can also play around with the lighting right here. So let's say you wanted uh, maybe like a really light color, maybe a bright color, you can uh, increase the lighting. Or if you wanted a dark color, you can increase the darkness by playing around with the pigment right here. So just maybe around there looks good. And now you can scroll down and choose a good color palette. So maybe let's choose this one right here, which is uh, actually I might choose this one. So what I'm going to do is pick the darkest red, maybe this one right here, and let's copy this color code. So that's copied. You just need to click on that. And let's go to Photoshop and click on the circle right here and choose solid color. And I'm just going to simply paste in the color code that we copied from Shape Factory and click on OK. And so now we have this color fill layer right here. So now we can go into the uh, layers effect and choose multiply. So multiply should be right here. So now we have this effect, but it's simply just uh, a black and a red color. You also need to add in a second color. So the way to do that is go back to uh, Shape Factory and choose one of these colors here. Usually I choose the darkest color right here and let's copy this one. So let's go back to Photoshop and choose another solid fill. And this time let's paste in the dark blue color. And for this uh, layer effect, I'm going to choose lighten. So you can see the red is kind of gone now. So it's not what it was like before. So you need to reduce the opacity on this color fill layer. So let's reduce it to maybe just about right there. So you just still need to retain that blue color, but also bring back that uh, red color that we had before. So I think that looks good just about there. So now the colors aren't really bright enough. So what we need to do is increase the contrast on this image. So go back to this circle icon here and choose brightness and contrast. So now you can increase the brightness and also decrease or increase the contrast a bit more. So you can see when I increase the contrast, it actually looks a lot better now. There's a lot more color on there and there, and it's actually, you can actually read the image a lot easier now. So I think that actually looks better than what we had before. So 
if I click this off, the brightness and contrast, this is what we had before, and this is after. So that really depends on what kind of image that you're using and what kind of colors that you're using. Sometimes you need to add in a bit more brightness and contrast and some images and colors don't need the brightness and contrast. So that's something that you need to play around with. So there's one more thing we can do with this image to create another duotone effect within a shape within this image. So let me show you what I mean. So we still have more colors left in this uh, color palette. So before we, we used the two of the most uh, darkest colors, now we can use two of the most lightest colors. So let's take this color first. So I'm simply just gonna copy this light red color. And let's go back to Photoshop. And I'm gonna create another solid color layer. And I'm gonna paste in that color right here. And just like before, let's give it an effect of multiply and Let's also take the other color and let's go back to Photoshop and create another solid color right here. And let's paste in that light blue so that looks good. And let's give it a color of lightning. And just like before, we're going to lower the opacity so we can see the red behind it. And we're also going to give it another brightness and contrast. So let's uh, go back to the circle icon and click on brightness and contrast. Let's increase the brightness. So maybe this time we actually need to d decrease the um, the contrast a little bit because we used darker colors before. And what we did before is we actually increased the brightness and contrast. This time it actually looks better when we decrease it. So it's up to you what, what kind of uh, effect that you're going for. But I think I like that effect right here. So now we have these four, uh, the, these three layers at the top with the lighter colors and these three layers at the bottom with the darker colors. So what we can do is click on the layer right at the bottom of the lighter color um, layer and press and hold shift and click on these three layers. And then we're going to click on this group icon or you can also press control G to group all of these together. So we, we have this new group now. So we can double click on this group and rename it to light colors. And I'm also going to click on the masking tool right here. So what the masking tool does is it will hide anything that's black within this little white box and it will uh, reveal anything that's uh, white within this white box. So right now everything is white. So if I double click on this, oops, let me just cancel that. If I it wasn't uh, double click, sorry, it was uh, Alt or Option key if you're on a Mac and press and hold that and click on this little white box. And let's say I choose the circular selection tool and I'm going to press and hold shift and draw a perfect circle. And I'm going to go to select and click on inverse. So what we've just done is we've selected everything except for the circle part right here. So what we can do is choose a black color and just fill this part in. So just like before, the uh, white color is, in, is revealed and the black color is hidden. So if I press and hold Alt again, and that's option key if you're on a Mac, and click back here, you can see this box right here. So that's the lighter, lighter duotones and that's the darker duotones. And now we can kind of move this around any way you want. So you can see the little box there, but we can fill that in later on. So maybe you want it right here by a hand. And let's just choose a black color again. We can just fill all of those parts in. Let me just make that a little bit bigger. And let's also make this brush a little bit harder. There we go. So now we have this little part right here where you can put in some text in there if you wanted to. Um, maybe you're selling a product, you can have the price right here. So it's up to you what you want, but that's just one last trick that you can do with the Duotone image. So we used all of the darker colors from the color palette and also the lighter colors right here. So all, it all kind of blends in. So if you like this tutorial, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you in that next video.